I'm ex excited about all the you know abstract posters we're going to present at ANEM. So two abstract that I'm particularly excited. So one of them is a, a modeling simulation work which showed strong correlation between IgG and clinical efficacy. This is based on our phase two data from our phase two dose ranging study. Um, this modeling and simulation work really helped us to determine the optimal dose to be studied in the phase three trial in MG patients. So the other abstract I'd like to highlight is a model-based meta-analysis um, to really evaluate that study used um, clinical data from all four anti-FCRN treatments. And this study finding showed that IgG lowering could explain majority of the treatment effect of anti-CRN, FCRNs. And IgG lowering, IgG could actually be potentially used as a clinical efficacy biomarker, which will increase the efficiency of clinical trials. No, yeah, I, I'm very excited actually about the progress we're making in developing ipocalumab as a potential new treatment to patients suffering from autoantibody mediated disease. You know, we're making a significant development um, progress for ipocalumab running in parallel across more than 10 potential indications in three disease segments really spanning across like rare autoantibody mediated disease like MG to maternal fetal immunology like hemolytic disease of fetus and newborns, as well as prevalent rheumatology disease like rheumatoid arthritis. We're continuing to advance nipocalumab through the ongoing phase three trial in MG patient who has insufficient response to standard care therapies. And we're close to complete this study and look forward to share findings from this study in the first half of 2024.